What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. And today we're taking a look at the newest release from Tops. We got 2020 Tops Heritage High Number. This is the absolute last release of 2020. Uh, this one got pushed back quite a bit. This usually gets released around October, end of, not, end of October, something like that. But with the limited season and COVID, they, they kept pushing it back, pushing it back. And a couple of these releases, man, suffered because of it. This one being one of them, Tops Update being another. Now, with that being said, this release... You can pull some absolute monsters. There's not a ton of rookie cards in here to go chasing. I mean, there's a couple that I like. Obviously, Luis Robert. And then I got a guy in here, Willie Castro for the Tigers. Very underrated guy that people seem to forget about. But he had an amazing, amazing season. We're guaranteed one autograph or relic in this box. Just like every other Heritage release. But I'm going to be honest with you. About... 80% of the time, you're going to get a relic. It's tough, tough, tough to get autos in this set. we got a lot of stuff to go through. We'll talk a little more about it as we go along. Let's check out this box hopper we got. We got a Javi Baez, greatest moments box topper. Not bad for my Chicago Cubs. Love my Cubs. And there's a look at it. A lot of people didn't really care for this release. We can look at uh, some of the odds. And just like any other release from Heritage, you got the action variations. And if you look right here, 1 and 53, right above my thumb. You know what that tells me, guys? They printed a lot of it, man. They are pumping these print runs up. You used to get an action there variation about one per box. Now it's about one every other box but uh here's a look at it the same design as always we're going to try to see if we can spot some of those uh variations there's a bruce dar gratterall 601 and always another thing with heritage come back you can flip it around and it'll tell you what it is whether it's one of the silver team names they got the missing signatures it'll even tell you the action variation they have some very rare ones, the flip stocks. There's our boy, my boy Jordan Alvarez, rookie performers, nice looking card. But there's a lot of variations to go back, take your time with this set. Don't rush through it. It's a fun little set to go through. This is more for your collectors. This is not a set that you need to go out chasing all the biggest hits. Because I'm going to be honest with you, it's not for you for that. Reggie McClan, rookie. Now and then, another one of the inserts of uh, Shoei Otani. You can pull some nice stuff in this set. Some monster, monster cards can come out of here. But it is just difficult, y'all. I'm going to say right now, these packs are tough to get into. Usually, Topps packs are pretty easy to get into. Got a little damage on that corner there. They've looked so far. It looks okay so far. Nothing terrible. They look like they have more of a glossy finish than uh, the first release of this year. Drury. But like I said, take your time. Go back through it. This is a set that's set collectors. I like to put this set together every year. It gives you something to do because... People seem to forget it's not always, always just hunting about the biggest dollar you can put in your pocket, I should say. I mean, it's, there's a nice insert. Ernie Banks. Just take your time with this set, man. It's a fun set. And there my boy is, Willie Castro. That's one of the other guys. Pretty off-centered, man, left to right. But I like Willie Castro a lot. Still fairly young. Dude's very talented, man. Had a fantastic season. He's probably the second best rookie in this class, if you ask me. The base checklist is not that great. Man, every one of these cards have got some damage on the front. 
I watched Striker Breaks and his had a ton of damage. Mine haven't looked terrible so far, but the first card has looked very bad. And we have a chrome refractor coming up. What can we get? Robel Garcia. Tyler Mile and Shogo Akiyama. Check that out, man. Very nice one to get right there. You know, not a huge, huge rookie name to pull, but still out of 571. Very nice Reds hit right there, man. You know, you got a 250 card checklist. It's not easy to pull. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. That's a nice card right there. He didn't have a terrible season, played all year. Not a bad one to get right there, guys. This pack looks very nice. Keen Wong. There's Mr. Cody Bellinger. Hopefully I don't uh, pass over any kind of variation. Because like I said, they're easy to pass over. Just always go back. Make sure you don't miss anything. Jack Mayfield for my Astros. There's Yoshi Satsugo, another one of the rookies. Marcel Azuna. That's going to be a short print. The short print uh, set, 25 cards this year, is not that great. It never really is, to be honest with you, in high number. It's always, for some reason, <laughs> not the best. And it looks like we're going to have a relic, guys. We'll, we'll open that last. Like I said, though, it is so extremely tough to pull autos or the big parallels. Castellanos. You know what I think I'm doing when I'm opening that pack? I'm actually bending it. It's not the car, just me doing that. The packs are extremely tough to get into. Jarrell Cotton. That's another short print. Sai Sneed from my Astros. Ravello. They do have quite a few rookies in here, just not a ton of them that's proven just yet. A lot of these guys still need to play, get out there, prove their self. But let me know what y'all think of this set. Y'all going to buy any? Will you buy more of it? You know, like I say, the big chase card is going to be Luis Robert. Hopefully the one we get, if we do get one, is... In good shape. Man, these are tough. I've never had packs this hard to get into from tops. It's usually Panini. But they are tough, man, to get into. Alex Wood, Carl Edwards Jr. World Series highlights of uh, Brooks Robinson. That's a nice one. Another rookie, Garrett Stubbs. Astros got quite a few rookies in this uh, set. I was hoping we'd get an auto, but that's how it goes sometimes, man. Maldonado. Alec Mills. That is a short print. Hunter Pence. McBroom. So we got the one parallel. Watching other videos, it's it's very tough to pull the parallels this year in Heritage. But like I say, when you do, man, pull one of the big ones, you got a nice card on your hands. There's another Shogo Akiyama. And there we go, Luis Robert. We got him, and it's terribly, terribly off-centered left to right. Man, I, I just... What are you going to do, though? The QC from Tops this year has been dreadful, y'all. It has been a, I mean, terrible, terrible year, especially with Bowman. Man, here I go. Guess I'm about to bend the pack. I mean, I can't get into them, guys. They are extremely tough to get into. Or maybe I'm just a pansy. Who knows? All right, let's find us a nice parallel. Come on. Jeff Mathis. Oh, Puig. And Danny Mendick, the other uh, rookie for the uh, White Sox this year. A little over halfway through. Flores. 
Duggar, Smack Talk, Max Muncie now and then, Kenta Maeda. And as y'all can see, there's really not a ton of big stars, man. You just have to bend the packs every time, I guess. <laughs> every time I do that, I bend over the top card. But like I said, the base checklist, y'all can see it. Edwin Rios, there's another kind of in that second tier, you know, rookies to put away. Had some decent playing time this year. Mr. Brendan McKay. Yamaguchi. But with the checklist being as bad as it is, go look at the, get on Beckett.com, cardboard, I always say that, you know, cardboard connection. Get on there and do some research. Because you can read up a lot, or get a lot of information on these sets. Philly friends, Mr. Hoskins. But like I was saying, the autograph checklist in this set is very, very nice. I mean, you can pull all the big rookies from this year. Mike Trout, they got a bunch of uh, retired Hall of Fame veterans. The only problem is pulling them. It's just difficult, man. You get a 12-box case, and you might get two or three autos out of the 12 boxes. It's tough, y'all. World Series highlights, Pirates celebrating that uh, 1971 team. And I believe... Uh, Roberto Clemente was on that team, I believe, and I think he passed away the very next year in 1972. Hope I'm saying that right. But tragic ending, man. The Clemente's had an awesome, awesome career. One of the best right fielders that probably have ever played the game, man. As little as he was, had a strong, super strong arm, man. Love watching old highlights of him. Getting down to the end, Miguel Andahar. Yeah, just not a, I mean, no real big stars, you know, in the set. Shogo Akiyama. Again, very, very bad off-centered. You know, the corners and stuff is in pretty good shape. It's just off-centered, man. Terribly, terribly off-centered. Straight out of LSU, baby. Jacoby Jones. Zach Wheeler. We got Puppy Power. Look at Glaber and Aaron Judge on there. Ryu. Michael Kopech. Are we going to get to see him next year? Man, that dude's got a lot of talent. Mookie Betts, about the biggest star on this set, man, in the checklist. DD. Salvador Perez. That's going to be an action variation. We ended up getting one. You can tell also by that. It'll tell you right there, action. But you can see them. They'll either be pitching, running the bases, taking in that bat instead of just the pose like that. Not the name I wanted to get. But what can you do about it, y'all? Keep your head up. Keep ripping packs. This is what it's all about, man. Can't win every time, you know. Couple more packs to go. Now and then, Mr. Bryce Harper. Yeah, man, this checklist is not that great. Hopefully, Luis Robert, you know, a couple of these rookies have come out like Willie Castro to keep this set relevant, but you should be able to pick this up for not, I think I paid $110 for this, Kyle Garland, thought he was on another team, so Wade Jr., Kim, and let's see what that relic is, looks like a just a regular base relic, Eshelman, David Price, Strasburg, Brian O'Grady, and a Kevin Kiermaier. So overall, you know, this is kind of what you're going to expect with Heritage. That's just how it is, you know, and usually in past, it's not that expensive. It's a cheaper release that you can go out and buy. You know, a very nice hit right there with the Shogo. It's a shame our brookies we got were so badly off-centered. 
but uh, hopefully this product drops in price and it's not a bad set to go out and pick and try to get you one of them nice hits because like I say, you can really pull something monstrous. It's just tough to do. But guys, I'm going to get out of here. I hope everybody had a happy new year. It's 2021. I hope this is a lot better than last year was. But uh, thank you all so much, guys, for a great year. I'm going to get on out of here. If you don't mind, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.